Hey all, welcome to Tint Taste Tour. Today in part 3 of this painting tutorial, I'll show you how to paint these watercolor flowers. So we'll first start by painting the outline of the branch and as I always say for the brush to move easily on paper, make sure it is wet enough. And if you are not comfortable drawing directly the branches, you can also make a pencil outline first. Just make sure you erase the darker part of the pencil and just keep a reference outline which is quite light in shade so that the pencil outline doesn't pop out after the color dries. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing and also click on the notification bell. Now for the flowers, we are going to use wet on wet technique. What does that mean? So we are just going to dip a clean brush in water and form the shape of flower using the water first. And then on that we are going to fill in the colors. This is one of the easiest techniques to paint in case of watercolors because you can play around with these colors and create lighter shades instead of directly starting off with darker shades. It's also easier to work on and add in details at a later stage once the first coat dries because we are creating quite light shades by using water in the first part. Don't worry much about getting the exact shape of the flower that we are usually trained to draw. Just make some random shapes here and there except for obviously rectangle, triangle. So imagine there is an entire tree blooming with flowers, for example cherry blossom. And you don't want to draw the entire tree but just a branch of it. So you're standing there and looking at a single branch and you want to draw that. So you are at a distance but not very far off from the tree. Now since you are a few meters away and there are a bunch of flowers on the branch, you cannot see the exact shape of the flowers from that distance. Nor can you see every teeny tiny detail of a single flower because you are looking at it from a distance. So that's what we are trying to achieve here and this is one of the easiest way to do that. I am first making sure the entire branch is covered with flowers. So I am just making random shapes here. And once this first coat dries, then I will introduce darker colors just to give it a more realistic feel. As you can see, I am not filling in the entire flower with darker shades just giving it the effect of it so that we get a feel of there is shading in the flowers transition from lighter to darker shades and then we'll add in a little yellow for highlights and remember watercolors always tend to look a little different once they dry off so work on this a little slowly look at how the first coat looks after it dries and then accordingly introduce the other shades now for the leaves we are just going to make a few randomly here and there because flowers are the main center of attraction in our painting and also make sure for the buds the smaller shapes which look like buds you make the sepal that is the leaves within which the buds are usually enclosed I have split this tutorial into different parts just so that the videos are not too long. For other parts of the tutorial, check out the information icon, the i icon above or also I'll link it in the description box below. If you find this tutorial helpful, do let me know in the comment section below and also please mention if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to learn next. Until then, see you next time.